Good day everybody. Welcome to Larez Expression Studio. Um, I did this video quite some time ago and I did probably about oh, close to 10 little cutouts because um, I had to go back and forth and add to, to the video. So I'll just, I'll just start from the beginning. What I'm doing here is I'm just mixing some Res Rock uh, um, Ultimate Artist Compound. It's a powder. And I'm, I've mixed it here with some PVA glue, which is a, um, Elmer's glue in, in America. Uh, not for any reason, um, just uh, because I have a gallon of it and I wanted to use it. And I thought maybe it'll help ad adhese to to the onto the the canvas and I'm showing you here what looks like a tile but what it is is just a, a big thick resin skin so I had quite a bit of uh, leftover resin from a piece and I poured it all into a ziploc bag and then kind of just pushed all of that resin towards the bottom of the bag and folded the bag over and it created these little holes in the the center of of the well, one little different parts of of that tile i'll just call it a tile because it just uh, reminds me of of one so i'm just applying this um res rock paste now onto the, the the sides and the edge of the canvas it's just a little canvas it's um i believe 20 by 25 centimeters not sure what that's in inches but as you can see you can see my hands it's not very big so it's a small little piece um, and uh, that's what I'm doing just applying that because I want to have texture and then um, plonk that um, tile on in, in the middle and uh, and see what I'm going to do with it later because I just didn't want to waste it at that stage that uh, the tile which I added to which I added um, a few other little skins that I had stuck on on my board so I just kind of uh, peeled them off and glued them onto the resin tile um, to just to add more texture and more character to it and I will add some more interesting things to it as you will see towards you know the end all the, the things that I've added. So I dug out uh, some Hessian rope, which is a pretty rough rope that I found uh, in, in the back shed. And what I did was I just cut pieces out and um, just sticking them into that uh, wet res rock paste um, at this stage it's quite wet because I've just applied it and I'm just kind of pushing it down a bit um, I just love that kind of earthy feeling of all these and the texture of, of Hessian um, it, it, it just adds something to it like I always say half of the time or more than half of the time I don't know how things are going to turn out I have an idea and I just go with it and then I just add things and this is one of those things that I, I thought oh you know something um, more texture would be great on here and because Hessian kind of has those fibers that stick out and it's very rough rough like when you when you touch it when I pour resin over that it will create some really um, kind of uh, shards sharp like um, fibers sticking out of that and and all around so that's what I'm hoping at this stage and it did turn out pretty pretty good so I'm just gluing the resin uh, the the resin tile onto my piece now and just sitting it in there I didn't even need to glue it because it it would have grabbed with the resin when I when I pour it later on over it but I just wanted to secure it in there for the time being and just adding a little bit more texture just using my stirring stick and just kind of pushing it into that um, paste and, and making it stand up a little bit more. So 
So what I'm doing here now is just adding some leftover resin, which I have left over from the piece that I did on the left there. A little bit of purple and a little bit of white. And pouring it over the wet res rock compound. So I've turned it into a paste and then caked it on and it just it's still wet. So waste not want not as we say. So I'm just adding some more and creating a little bit of uh, interest in here. And now I'm um, looking at it. Uh, what am I doing? Just checking the back of it, making sure that it's all stuck on and it all looks great. And I can't believe that I recorded the audio for this whole thing and somehow, silly me, I've um, deleted it. So I'm doing it all over again now. And hopefully I won't miss some of the important things that I said in the previous one. But anywho, what I'm doing here is just using my paintbrush and a little bit of dark paint, which is just a, a black and a bit of phthalo blue mixed together just to camouflage those white bits that uh, I didn't want there. So just painting that over and, um, and getting rid of the white. And it does look quite dark at this stage, but it will get better. I'm just doing the, the edges as well, just tidying the whole piece. And like I said, it's only a tiny little piece and it turned into being such a complex piece that uh, I never imagined <laughs> it was going to be. I just wanted to plonk that uh, tile on it and uh, be done with it, but uh, it turned into something much more and I'm quite pleased with it for a little piece really so at this stage I went into my back shed and went looking for something um, to add to the piece oh yes I'm just putting some black paint into those holes those little dints that you can see there they're just holes and I'm putting some black paint in them that way when I apply my Suncatcher pigment paste, uh, sorry, pigment powder, it will it will really shine through. So that uh, just a, a little bit extra that I'm adding to it, adding some depth and a little bit of um, dimension. And just cleaning the top of it just with with a with a cloth. and just doing a few touch-ups so while I was in the back shed I found some pieces of uh, hessian rope and I absolutely love the texture and the feeling of it it's just so rough on your hands you know um, so I just um, popped it on oh actually oh, oh bugger I already talked about that sorry I can see that now um okay apologies so what I'm doing now is just adding some um, copper acrylic paint and just using my hands to um, apply it over that hessian rope which is um it just it it just you just get much better control if you use your hands and I love that it's great having all these tools and you know paint brushes and, and palette knives and all that sort of stuff but I just love using my hands and getting real physical and and um, just putting my whole self into into the piece so that's what I'm doing just uh, using some of that copper acrylic paint and putting it over that uh, rope to make it stand stand out a little bit out of the whole piece and I know that you can't really see it right right now at this stage but you will later on it will all pop and it'll look great just doing a few touch-ups here and there it just turned into such a complex piece it's, um, it's unbelievable for a little piece like that and you can see that, uh, you can just see it right now, the copper, it's amazing.
and that res rock just dried up beautifully um, solid so um, whatever you apply over it like that lightly um, it just stands out and looks great so now I'm mixing some paste um, together I'm using the sapphire blue, Lares sapphire blue because I want to create a little bit of a like a water effect and if you are using if you're trying to paint um, a seascape the sapphire blue is really really good if you're using Lares pigments for it so that's what I'm using and later on I will add some more texture to it I will add some nice um, waves textured waves which is just uh, the skins which I've molded and shaped into like a wave and now what I'm doing here is just popping some of that um, dried kind of um, powder glitter powder the sun catcher and putting them into those holes that I have there and then covering them with some clear resin to seal them in there and they really pop as you can see it, it actually looks really great and a few little touch ups that a lot went on with this piece quite a lot it took ages I didn't really expect it but it was fun it's really fun to do things like this and create something out of nothing really um, because when you look at it it was just leftover resin and some rope that was hanging around in the back shed and uh, just a little canvas is created out of nothing just gives me so much pleasure and satisfaction to be able to do something out of nothing and create a really beautiful visual effect which you will see it's happening it's it's getting there slowly slowly <laughs> As you can see there I'm adding that sapphire blue and creating a little bit of uh, depth and dimension as you can see I'm fiddling quite a bit here just painting this um, the color on but um, it needed it it needed it, it definitely needed it. and you can see a bit of shape coming right now um, coming through so this is sometimes what you have to do just fiddle with it until it's um, done until it's happy, until you're happy and uh, if you're selling this piece you want to make sure that your customer understands all the work that you put into it and the way they will understand that is by looking at all the depth and all the texture and everything else you know a lot of the times they will not understand it but it's pleasing to the eye and that's all that matters and also the energy um, I truly believe that whatever we put in our paintings it um, it uh, just it mirrors our energy at the time of uh, creating this piece so be mindful of that when you're creating art you know be mindful of what you put in in your piece what energy you're putting in everything is energy everything around us I truly believe that
got a couple of pigments there that I just showed you. One was Alexandrite pigment powder and the other one was the Sapphire Blue. I love those two pigments together and I absolutely love Alexandrite because it gives you the this beautiful amethyst color but it has a, a second tone which is like a green um, olive green it's um it's a, a interesting pigment very interesting but I love it so I'm adding that to, to this piece to give it a little bit extra something extra it, there's a lot of extras in this piece <laughs> I can tell you that <laughs> thoroughly enjoyed it and you can see that uh, shine now when uh, when the light hits it that uh, it's quite interesting it's very bold very bold very dark but um, it makes an impression which is uh, what I wanted what I want in all my pieces I guess to, to make an impression okay so finally some fun stuff not that up until now wasn't fun it was fun I uh, just have some skins which I um, scraped off my board and rolled into something here that looks like a bit of a scroll didn't plan it you, know, you have to understand I did not plan for any of this I was just looking at the skin and thinking what can I do with it it looked a bit like a dragonfly but not quite so I just uh, rolled it into this little scroll so I'm using a uh, heat uh, sorry a hot glue gun and uh, gluing them onto this piece there's also another little skin which I've molded and well, actually rather shaped into like a shell and gluing it onto the piece now and um, if anybody's asking me what brand my hot glue gun is it's uh it's a real cheap brand and the reason being i'm not saying you should have the most expensive or the, the cheapest whatever i'm just saying i don't spend a lot of money on stuff that i'm only going to use once or twice now if you're using um, these instruments um or tools or whatever you want to call them a lot you want to get a good quality one it doesn't matter if it's ex most expensive or the cheapest one as long as it's a good quality one that's what you want so don't don't um, worry too much about what you use because a good artist and a creative rather I should say a creative artist will come up with all kinds of ways to create art you know not not um, not everybody can afford to have the most expensive things the most expensive pigments and the most expensive tools to work with so you you use what you've got and use your creativity and and make some good stuff so the other two things that I've just um, glued on onto my piece are also skins which I have taped to make they're just like a round skin I cut the one side of it a little bit to have a straight line and the other rounded bit I folded over and taped and it resembles a wave to me so I've glued them on there and I've also gone over the the wave with the glue gun just to to give it a extra texture as well as a bit of form and a little bit like a water kind of effect so you will see all that uh, in the close-up and I was going to paint over it but I quite like it as is like that it's not transparent it's not clear it's not uh, not even white it's just uh, something between clear and white the color so I like it like that and I left it like that so you will see that shortly in the close-ups so that's all I'm doing and I'm adding some more of that glue underneath the wave inside the wave and just start creating an illusion of water running out of the wave so 
it's really not easy to use the glue gun <laughs> it's not something that I'm used to using but uh, I had a few stringy bits hanging about and I had to pluck them out but uh, see that there, there it is that was a real quick quick view of it all but like I said uh, just playing with it and just going with the flow literally <laughs> so, having a bit of fun I I thoroughly enjoyed myself doing this um, haven't had a chance to to do any art in a long time and although it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea but um, I like it and uh, you know it, uh, you like what you like and and vice versa you know so I had to uh, I had to hold that piece the, the little wave I had to hold it down for, for a few seconds up to about a minute because um, using a hot uh, glue gun it um, it l really softened the resin and uh, my wave opened up <laughs> so it didn't look like a wave at all so I had to hold it down I used the the glue to 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 create like a little vessel like a wave pouring the water pouring out of the wave and glued it onto the bottom and then hold it there for, for a few seconds and then release and it it stayed there which was really good but I was getting a bit worried that's one thing that I didn't think about and I know just like everybody knows that you know resin does react to heat um, I just didn't think so I had to really improvise there and just uh, just took a few extra minutes to to fiddle with that but then after that it was it was fine and then I decided to add another little wave next to it so three waves it's a, it's a bit of a trio happening here um, just because there was room there and there was a, a blob of glue which I needed to camouflage and um, I added a little piece of skin which I also had the skins were bits of um, the previous painting so the actual color uh, is not the, the angel white is the pearl white it's a really pretty really pretty color for the for a wave in this in this case and just gluing some more around there and it's uh, almost done almost almost done and I also added some clear quartz afterwards you won't be able to see that because I did that after um, but you will see it in a photo just scattered underneath the the waves and it just gives you an illusion of uh, water drops which I thought it was pretty cool so there it is hope you enjoyed it and uh, thank you for watching